Hey guys, it's travel day, Kenya. <laughs> I have to go to Walmart. I'm supposed to be packing, sucks. But I need to, orange punch buggy, no punch bags. <laughs> but I need to get detergent and some stuff to wash before I leave. And I'm so last minute when everything I do is crazy. Like, it's freaking unbelievable how last minute I am and stuff. It be like that sometimes. <laughs> Hi guys, what's poppin'? Nah, no really though. Y'all know what's poppin'. Anyways, I just did a quick Walmart run and I wanna show y'all some of the stuff I got and what I got from Walmart for this trip. So right now, I know I look a little, I'm tall, I'm up to feet. I mean, I got a tripod. And this thing is everything. <laughs> I just recently got a new, adaptable charger you can see that there boom and a wall and window mobile dasher this is a flexible tripod i don't know what i'm gonna do with this y'all this right here it's coming with me to 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 the on the trip i got two of these because i want to be able to vlog as much as i can and I need as much content as possible. So this is for my phone, this is for the device, this is for a laptop, whatever, because I don't trust airplanes in their whole little situation. Okay, so I am, ooh. <laughs> Jesus, I have to kill myself. <laughs> All right, so I am officially about to start um, packing for um, our trip. <laughs> and this should be really cool, really fun. So hopefully you can see me. Maybe I need to adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust it. So this is what I'm going to be packing and cleaning up. And um, we're gonna get ready to go. Our flight is scheduled to leave at 4.16. We must check our bags by 3.15. Um, we both have clear, so that works in our favor, meaning we can just zoom on that Yamaha through the airport <laughs> and um we're gonna also get to the airport the maximum time that I want to get there the latest I want to get there is 250 due to the fact that it's an inter well that's not telling you where we're going but it's an international flight and um you know getting there at an ample amount of time gives us time to check our bags because it's a bigger flight, a bigger plane, more passengers. So the earliest I wanna get there is like 2.30. Cause we still have clear, no matter what, we still got clear. And the latest is 2.15. So I have to like get the move on it cause I still gotta go to the nail shop. So that's a lot that I gotta do. So let's get this going. Officially at the airport, the Grand San Francisco Airport. And what makes it so cool about us being at the airport okay. is we get food. Okay, before we leave. So, we're about to head out. You guys might know where I'm going now. This is uh, giving it away. So, we are aboard. So, uh, how we're we gonna do this? I have. There is no first class for me on this ride. However, I'm really comfortable in this economy. But my best friend put me onto something and I recently been watching. When you sit at the back of the plane, it's the littest part because you are closer to the bathroom. 
you not only are closer to the bathroom, but you get the luxury of being closer to the flight attendant so you can get whatever you need. If you need more water, they can get back with you. That's the truth. Because to her trip to New Orleans, she sat in the back of the plane, that girl got off the plane wasted. So definitely recommend doing that. I got my hair up and get ready to take off, have some lunch before we get in the air. Um, and then I'll come back a little bit later once we're in the sky and show you, you know, what meals I bought for us. We have two meals with the sky and I'm happy that we're sitting in the back of the plane because it's a situation back here. I'm trying to show y'all, y'all understand. Like, let's see if I can show you guys, like without showing you guys. It's pretty freaking cool. Okay, so let's get into this wall. Like, it's a real rock wall. I didn't even peep that at first. And this bed, it's like, it's like almost like I'm in someone's house. Mm. I like this hotel. Like, I don't know why I found this, how I found this, but I feel like I'm in somebody's house on the set. I do. <laughs> I really do. I'm just gonna close these to give us some a little privacy, but some air. It smells so good here when we first walked in. Y'all, I'm about to let y'all in on a little secret. I'm musty as hell. Yeah, you My video, you done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, we stumbled upon a Thai restaurant. And you know me, not me, bro. You don't, but <laughs> now you get to know me, you'll see that I love some Thai food, and we got some goiza. Goiza Kelly, y'all. JJ got a my ties looking pretty good. Uh, some mojito. Oh, a mojito. Okay, mojito. Let me know, though. <laughs> I got some tea, and uh, yeah. So we and them got streets of petty, and um, we just found this beautiful restaurant, and super duper excited about this. So like, this is this is lit. Stay tuned. We're gonna order some. Food. So cute. So this looks so good, guys. I gotta zoom in on this. 
You know I know like my boy, but this right here, this on pepper shrimp. This is next level. Looks good though. Looks good for the first meal of the trip. It's wasted. Ooh, where's that go? I see something I like. Shorty buy me a trip. Shorty. I'm gonna take you home with me. I got money in the bank. Shorty, what you think about that? I'll be in the gray Cadillac. We in the bed like, ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all know T-Pain was the mass singer and he was the monster and he won. Do y'all know like, when I first saw that show, I had no idea it was T-Pain. <laughs> but I stopped watching after a while and if I would've kept watching, I wouldn't know it was T-Pain. Random side note, I wanna go shopping tomorrow. What should I buy? No way. Lituation. Birthday boy got me getting tracked for him on this Thursday night. We ended up at a bar that's by our hotel. Um, the name of the bar is called, um, I think it's called Cabana Club. Um, I gotta look at the name. But I'm excited to drink this. We're gonna get wasted. So. Cheers, baby. So we just arrived at our hotel and this is the hallway of our hotel and this is our pretty cool concierge that helped out. I have the keys so everyone's waiting on me. <laughs> Here. You do the honors. So we just switched rooms and this is our first, well, our second room, but it's a temporary room because our other room won't be, our big room won't be ready till tomorrow. But it's cute. I, I don't mind the small rooms in Paris, actually. I don't. Now the small rooms in New York, that's a different story. But in Paris, no. This is me. Hey, y'all. Show y'all my little, you feel me today? I feel like that's not, that's the mirror. <laughs> and the bathroom, which is small, which is small as well. They're all pretty small. I mean, like, they're really pretty small. But I mean, it works, so it works for what we got going on. I was trying to fit my aesthetic for today with my green and black outline. A leather jacket, leather pants, leather boots, matching my soap bag, small accessories, a beret, you know, getting all cute with it. Cute little beret or whatever. Did my makeup super, super natural. Just a natural makeup look. Super natural and stuff. Get it all, you know, cute or whatever. Eyebrows or whatever. Straightened my hair because it was curly. Straightened my hair the best of my ability. It could be better. I don't have any, damn. I put some heat spray, but whatever. It's gonna poof up anyway, so what can I do about it, right? <laughs> so, Ooh, I almost fell. It's, wow. You guys, I almost fell. There's a little, like, step right there. <laughs> that would've been bad. Uh, so it's windy per usual in this beautiful place. We're going to the left. It's windy per usual, but that's not stopping nothing or anybody. Just fucking wind. Plus, my lashes are glued onto my face. My hair is under a hat, and I ain't got nothing on that I can't lose or miss. I can't look at the camera the right way right now, y'all. Y'all already know I can't. So I know you're probably wondering why am I sitting with no shoes on and just my socks in a shoe repair store. <laughs> All right, quick little story time. So this is how it happened. We get out of the Uber and we're gonna start our nice little shopping trip. And I step on a crack and I broke my mama's back. No, I'm kidding. I actually <laughs> I stepped on some type of pot hole situation, which 
resulted in my shoes lifting. They were talking. And um, I wish I did a before and after. I should have took a picture. See, I wasn't, I was, see, that's the thing. I was so in the, the mode and I was like trying to get my shoes fixed immediately that I wasn't like, let me take a picture and try to get all this. But I went into YSL. YSL gave me a beautiful recommendation for a shoe repair that was literally right around the corner. What are the odds of that? And now I'm getting my shoes fixed and the day continues and God is blessing me because I am highly favored <laughs> right now. My shoes. He over there getting my shoe right, y'all. Y'all don't understand. The Persians do it best. That's right. That's right. I'm excited. Tops of keychains. Yes, right. they're repaired. Yeah. I need to look at shoes downstairs. Yeah, Let's do sure. this. Yeah. This is all you. This is my second time in this beautiful place. Second time at YSL Paris. I'm a little annoyed because my cameraman is getting on my nerves. But <laughs> we're going to continue this shopping experience. Just did a little bit of shopping at the lovely YSL. All right, into Montclair. So we just got back to the hotel and my phone's a little dead. This why it's so special. I got this here in Paris last year and I'm starting to run low. This is from a year ago. Expensive perfume. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Okay, wait, <laughs> I know. Ladies, I've been drinking. I've been, I've been drinking. Don't you just do? I'm the only one I think of Beyonce when I say that. But anyways, I've been drinking, and I'm gonna tell you now, I'm a little turned up. But anyways, last year when I came out here, this is called Mon Paris. Literally, this this is YSL Mon Paris. If you can see it, and I bought it a year ago, and this is how much is left. I might have to re up. I bought it a year ago out here at the La, the the Le Lafayette mall which is like the biggest mall in paris and mm, it smells so good the biggest mall in paris I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys there we're gonna go there probably tomorrow you know we're gonna do museums tomorrow tomorrow's our museum day but i have to stop at that mall and show it to you so we did a little shopping which was dope i enjoyed uh shopping excuse me i have to show y'all my little backdrop because we can just go do it like this you feel me oh ooh, spotlight <laughs> spotlight no seriously but um yeah i just grabbed a couple of quick items from gucci and ysl we're gonna rock this out together okay but um i'm really 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 ready to go eat so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let this phone charge let this battery pack charge let this gizmo gimbal Thing towards and we go head to this restaurant aren't you just a beautiful aren't you just a beauty aren't you such a beauty we are headed over to the Pullman I stayed here before this hotel is beautiful just want to get a couple of drinks we're gonna enjoy ourselves before we head to dinner <laughs> guess who's back back again no seriously guess who's back it's me your girl young <laughs> oh my god guys you know my voice gets like this <clears throat> that's how you know it's about that time 
I'm tired. <laughs> no, really, no, I'm tired. It's freaking four o'clock in the morning here right now. And I'm just like out of it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Okay, so I'm a little late right now, but y'all don't understand. I had, a, I had a busy morning. I didn't get any of it on film. However, we are headed out. We finally left our room. It took me hella long to get dressed. I'm going to let y'all see this trip in just a second. But yeah, hopefully, just hopefully, this wind don't tear me up because I actually curled my hair today. I took time to do my hair. The wind tear me up, I'm going to be highly upset. So we are going to come back with some more. The sun is in the back, so I'm going to save y'all the glory. Skin looking good, even though this is a Philly. Skin still look good. <laughs> see y'all in a second. So I know you guys are probably wondering what's up with the bib, see? Well, I'm dressed really nice. And um, I'm not trying to get all of this. Lovely. McDonald's or in Petty on my, on my clothes. You guys know I hate looking at the camera so my eyes my eyes black and all the eyes back. I'm gonna practice and learn and do better. I, I got some nuggets, some fries, and a water. I kept it real traditional. I didn't venture out <coughs> when playing those games. But I'm about to go turn it like real life turning the real kind and it's gonna be it's like my redemption it's my redemption turn up y'all gonna see how I, why, why i'm calling it my redemption turn up it's a redemption damn i feel like i just had my hand on the freaking mic i hope i didn't make you even hear her but anyways signing out for mcdonald's This shot is worth 500. 
start by saying Drizzy Drake bro that concert was lit but it wasn't the concert that re resulted in my hair sweating out it was the fact that it was hot in the venue so my wig which is sitting right here I just dropped the damn y'all I'm over here messing up like I'm just I'm just all school oh man I'm all messed up y'all anyways um my wig was slipping and you know I hold on I need to get my hair done I travel to get my hair done and you know I'm in Paris this is the second time I've came to Paris with a wig and the second time that it didn't last at all and I'm convinced either wigs aren't for me or wigs just ain't for me like that's just what it is like oh here <laughs> you can see that I have hair you know, I'm blessed that I have a head full of hair. You know, I could wear my natural hair and actually look good with my natural hair. And I'm confident and comfortable in my natural hair, which a lot of us, you know, we are. You know, we wear wigs because we want to, not because we have to, you know? Excuse me if I'm out of frame. I just dropped my chase, my, my chase, my case. Look, I'm trying to, oh God. and I'm hungry. I'm gonna literally go in the room, touch up my hair, use the restroom. Get on the phone. Yeah, get on the phone. Find something to eat and enjoy my night. Because there's no way I'm letting a wig validate me. I wear the wig. The wig doesn't wear me. You understand what I'm saying? And I almost let it stop me from enjoying my night. You know, we all want to look good and enjoy ourselves and feel special and feel good and, you know, look sexy and confident. And I felt that when it started to slip, that went out the window. I, I felt it slipping and I said to myself, like, this can't be happening, this can't be happening. And once I actually saw it lifted up, I was like, whoa, like, this is unbelievable. It's bad enough that the back was already, like, in a shady situation. And then you get the, you get the front and the front is, like, lifting. It was literally lifting right here. I don't know if you guys can see. But like, I have my like hair pulled back right now, I mean, in front of my head. And then like I have glue all on the side right here that I have to go and take off. I have to go do my edges. I feel like I didn't pull my edges out, but my edges are a little dry and thin right now. So I'm just over it. I'm convinced, I'm going back to my braids. I mean, braids have always been my thing. I love braids. And I'm going back to my singles. So yeah, I think it's time that I rock my singles, keep them jet black, long, cute, nice, and call it a day. And yeah, but it was all about improvising. You know, it was all about making sure that at the end of the day, I was, you know, gonna still enjoy myself because I could not just, I, I couldn't just leave, you know, what was I supposed to do? So it's all about enjoying myself. But no, seriously, 
overall, I'm extremely happy and extremely grateful that things worked out. And, um, you know, it worked out for sure. I definitely was able to enjoy my night. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Paris. Shout out to our hotel for putting us on. We didn't know anything about this concert. Our hotel told us that he was in town. And the crazy part about it is, our hotel is the same arena that he was performing at. Not necessarily like the company, like, you know what I mean? Like how you have Oracle and Oracle Arena. It's called Accor Hotels Arena and we stayed at Accor Hotel. So that's pretty dope. Like, that's lit. That's lit. To go get food. Our Uber should be outside. Well, he was. Probably fucking went to the corner or something. I'm not set up. This might be a little shaky. Hopefully, you guys can do it. Once I get set up, I have better footage. Okay. Yep. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Where the hell is this guy? I'm beyond just tired. Like, oh God. Jesus Christ. Look, look at me, look at me. I'm just fucking up all over the board. Everything I'm doing is wrong. Everything. I'm just messing up everything right now. All right. So, we couldn't find food. The restaurant that we found, unfortunately, Yelp said it closed at two. Well, it closed at 12. So, our Uber driver happened to be a cool guy, and he happened to have, he happened to have plug on Burger King. So, ended up at Burger King. Oh, goodness. Okay, I made some new friends. Hi, y'all. How you doing? Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> um, All right, so. I'm really tired. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, life is hard. <laughs> life is real hard when you're, like, dying on the inside. <laughs> oh. So, like, the people in the elevator just told JJ he looks like some famous soccer player. And I'm going to look him up who plays for Brazil. Because I can't wait to see what they thought.